Since the dawn of man, scientists have longed to travel through time. In the late 1960s, a crack team of geniuses combined their talents to attempt to break the time barrier. In the Florida Keys, Dr. Woodstock P. Havens was given the task of building a special space shuttle. Yeah, but I decided to make a submarine instead, man. So come on and join me as we float through time. Dudes, I'll come down there where you are. Be right down. Hi, right, cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, where'd you go, man? Oh, there you are. <laughs> you were hiding. Hey, dudes, guess what? I'm loving being in the future with you guys. There's all kinds of really groovy stuff here. Like yesterday I was hungry, so Dr. Samanex told me I should put this cup inside this television, and I pushed the button, and I stared at that television for like five minutes, and there was no movies or TV shows at all. And then it started dinging, and next thing you know, I pull out a cup of soup with noodles in it. Yeah. Oh, thanks, handsome. Hey, kids, this is handsome. I call him handsome because he hands some stuff to me. Hey, thanks for the soup, dude. <laughs> See you later. Excellent. Yeah, check it out. Instant noodles. That's what I call a TV dinner. <laughs> well, we're getting a visitor, time man. Time I travel visitor. Over. <laughs> we have a time travel visitor. He's going to come down the time to. Two, one. Oh, don't tell me I've been swallowed up again. Oh, hey, how are you? What's up? Uh, What's up, beardy dude? Oh, hi there. Can you tell me, brother, how long have you been down here? You mean inside the love shaft? Is that what you call it? What a strange name for a giant fish, the love shaft. Giant fish? Oh, dude, you must be Jonah. Hi, I am. Are you a prophet? Well, sort of, yeah. My name is Woodstock. Huh, I don't think I've ever heard of the name of the Book of Woodstock. Well, I don't have a book like you do, but I do have a submarine. Oh, it's... Welcome aboard the love sub. Is that where I am? I've been swallowed by a submarine. What will God think of next? <laughs> oh, I forgot. That's right. God had you swallowed by a great big fish. Yes, just because I didn't want to take his message to the people of Nineveh. Well, why didn't you want to go to Nineveh, man? Are you kidding? Shiver me timbers. Ooh. The Ninevites are the most terrible, awful people. God knew that they were wicked and evil. Whoa, so what did you do when God told you to go there? I went the other way, maybe. <laughs> Is that when God had you swallowed by that great big fish? Not exactly. Oh. First... God sent a giant storm. Ooh. Then I lost my best friend, Wilson. Oh, then he sent, the, uh, he sent the fish to swallow me up and save me from the stormy sea. I was in the belly of the beast for three days, then it spit me out. And guess where I landed? Um, SeaWorld? No! no. <laughs> I was on the shore, safe and sound, but really smelly. Yeah. Then he gave me a second chance. A second chance? I love second chances. Yeah. A second chance for what? Uh, to, to obey him, to deliver his message. And you can believe that the second time God asked me to go to the people of Nineveh right. and warn them, I said, aye, aye, sir. Well, 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 what did you do when you got there? I did exactly what he told me to do. I warned the people of Nineveh. <laughs> What be that? I think it be the microwave. Oh. Oh, no, wait, that's the warning lights. Oh, that makes sense. God sent me a warning. Oh, well, awesome. Why don't I get out the power source and I'll read it to you. Uh. I think we keep it over here. 
Oh, there's a storm of ruin! Wrong portal! <laughs> Must be this side. Yeah, awesome. Hey, man, check it out. Here's your book, Jonah, the book of Jonah. And it says, on the first day, ooh, it's right there on the time screen. On the first day Jonah started into the city, he proclaimed, 40 more days and Nineveh will be overturned. That's exactly what I warned them. In 40 days, God was going to destroy their city. Far out, man. That's heavy. Yeah. So God let you warn those dudes even though they were evil dudes? Oh, yes. God is the God of second chances. He gave yeah. me a second chance to deliver his message and uh, to obey him. Mm. And, and, and he even gives second chances to bad guys. He does? Way cool! So, so what did you do after you warned the Ninevites? Well, that's a good question. I gave them a choice. Let me guess. Those are choice lights. Good guess, dude! <laughs> and here's the choice. But let man and beast be covered with sackcloth. Mm. Let everyone call urgently on God. Let him give up their evil ways and their violence. Yes, that's right. God always gives a choice to his, uh, to his people, yeah. to his children. Awesome. Well, he told them to turn their ways around. And yes, yeah, he yeah. told them to turn their ways around and to turn their ship around and ask God to forgive him. Well, that's kind of like the choice that God gives us. Yeah. God tells us that if we change our ways and follow him, he promises that we can live forever with him. Yes, God always gives his children a promise. <laughs> oh, I know what those are. Promise lies! <laughs> All right, kids, we got to search for the promise. Get your periscope. Come on, Joni, get your periscope. We're going to look through the ocean, and that promise has got to be out there somewhere. Try it out. No, not there. Whoa. Let's go to the right. Mm. There, no, a little further. Oh, north. it's a shark! Oh no! Ah! Oh. We and this it. is this is the promise that God gave to His people. Who knows? God may yet relent and, with compassion, turn from His fierce anger, so that we will not perish. So, what happened? Did they obey God, or did they perish? They. They made the right choice and repented, and God saved their fair city. Oh, that's excellent. God gave them a second chance. Yes, God loves all of his children, good or bad. He is slow to anger and full of mercy. Amen, dude. <laughs> well, my stomach just told me it's time to eat some lunch. Oh. <laughs> hey, Joni, you want to join us for lunch? Sure, what are we having? My favorite. Long John Silvers! <laughs> you can never have too much seafood. <laughs> yeah, I just love those fish sticks, man. Yeah. All right, dudes, we got to get going, but come back next time and we'll learn more about the power of God. But until then, remember, no matter where you are in time, God is good all the time. Hey!